This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, July 1st, through this coming Sunday, July 7th, 2024. We're here with another message for you to live a heart-based life. This is our eighth communication for you on this subject. Each of the past seven Mondays, we've been building upon these important life-changing messages. So for this week, we would like for you to understand your heart is a command center that regulates all the cells and molecules in your body. Your heart is constantly communicating with each molecule that forms each cell. And once a cell is formed, your heart also communicates to that cell in all manner of information. Your heart gives your cells healing, recalibration, instruction, correction, support, love, reinforcement, alignment, and all types of assistance for every cell in your body. Your heart assists your immune system to perform, to fight, and to protect to the best of its abilities. Your heart is keenly aware of everything your body is dealing with. Your heart is the command center that's regulating every cell and every organ and all the systems in between of your being. Your heart, your heart comes before your brain because your heart informs your brain and assists it to also help as needed. Your heart sends messages to your brain to share with you because your brain is the communication center and is vital in helping your heart-based intuition because it articulates for you what you need to know and understand, all beginning within the heart. If you have health issues, go within your heart. Ask your heart what it needs for healing. Listen to your heart and feel its expansive love and care. If you have health issues, at some point along your life path, your emotions have become so great, they've lodged in an organ or in a system or in a group of cells. And these lodged emotions have created a problem within your ease and your vitality. You can heal and remove lodged emotions by going within your heart, by enlisting your heart to open healing energy for you, allowing your heart to communicate with your brain to give you the downloads you need to know and what to do to heal your emotions and to heal yourself. It all begins with your heart. Give your heart the time and attention it deserves and you will be rewarded over and over. So go within your heart. Ask your heart what it needs for healing. Listen to your heart and feel its expansive love and care. You may be aware of these emotions or you may have forgotten a traumatic emotional episode that became lodged within your body. No matter how it originated, you can release old pent-up emotions and reclaim your health. For specific guidance and for clarity and understanding, have a reading. 
have a reading specifically for your life, where we tune in to your energy and your guides to give you everything you need to understand at this point to live your best life. All the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And we are getting the nine cards for the energy of this week. One more. There it is. All right. Let's see what we've got going this week. Ladies out, and I'm going to go over each one so you can have the advantage of using this energy for you this week. All right, we're starting with the Three of Wands. This is a card that tells you you've accomplished a lot. You have a lot to be proud of. You have a lot to be confident in. But you're still working at these things. You're still building. You're still enjoying the process of creating something and seeing the success and seeing the abundance and enjoying the prosperity. So keep at it. It's a lovely card of reassurance that you are doing well. And then these next two cards, kind of to get you back into alignment. This Four of Swords is about a bit of life review. It's about thinking about where you've been and what you've done and sort of rating yourself and sort of deciding how you might do things differently the next time, how you might do things differently moving forward. So that's a good evaluation, but don't get too stuck in it. Don't get too stuck in the past. This card is feeling like you have to do everything by yourself and you don't really have a lot of assistance. And again, it's kind of an illusion of lack. It depends on your thought patterns and what you're focusing on. So instead of focusing on lack and perhaps feeling alone, focus on help and, and, and moving forward. Remember all this confidence here in the first card, all the reassurance of your success and doing well. Let that be your guiding light instead of thoughts of lack. This card says you want to begin something new. You want to use your mind and your brain and your intellect and your wisdom and your experience. And you need to gather more information for this specific beginning. Do the research, Google things, look at YouTube, all the ways that we have of accessing important information because it'll give you what you need to continue with the confidence. The lovely Wheel of Fortune in the middle here is reminding you that you have momentum in your life, that your prayers have been heard and they're being answered, even if you're not seeing the results of that right in front of you yet. It's coming. Things are happening. Good things. This is the Wheel of Fortune. So allow the momentum to build and turn keep doing the research and learning, you're going to get to where you need to be. And combine that with a bit of magic. <laughs> combine it with asking for what you want, sort of wishes granted. If you can articulate it, if you can feel it in your heart, if you can get those positive thoughts and ideas ramped up around it, you will definitely experience it. So don't, you know, there's this five of pentacles up here feeling alone. And then the moon is also a bit of that things that you worry about or you feel might get in your way. Don't let that energy build for you. Don't let that energy derail you. Instead, let this be an energy of confidence and learning 
And okay, let's move forward from this because you've got the lovers here. You've got the passion for life. You've got the, if you can keep the focus on those wishes granted, keep the focus on the fantastic momentum that you have already created. Again, that three of wands energy of you've done so well. Things are gonna turn out amazing. So keep the momentum. Don't get stuck in the past. Yes, you had some amazing things in the past that came for you, but don't get stuck in that. Move forward. You have so much to look forward to. There's so much more for you. So enjoy that forward momentum energy. Don't get stuck in the past. Don't even get stuck in today. Make day, today a planning, a planning to move forward project. Make that this whole week. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.